Have you ever stopped and thought, man, I work way too hard for my money. I wish there was a better way to do it. Well, guess what, guys? There is a better way. And in fact, there are lots of better ways to make money. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a YouTube channel where your videos can take five minutes or less to create, takes virtually no skill or equipment, and can generate seven figures annually as long as you're consistent with your uploads. Don't believe me? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to walk you through everything. But before I do, if you find this video useful, be sure to subscribe as I talk all about personal finance, how you can earn more, spend less, and invest the difference so you can engineer the type of lifestyle you've always dreamed about. When most people think about making a YouTube channel, they think that they need to sit in front of a camera, they need to design their own unique content, spend hours creating and memorizing a script. And while that's certainly an option, that's what I'm currently doing, that's not the only way to make money from YouTube. You see, there are a lot of completely free, royalty-free content that you can use and upload to your own YouTube channel and make money from that content. Audiobooks are becoming increasingly popular. Sites like iTunes, Audible offer a huge selection of audiobooks for sale or on a subscription-based model. But did you know that there is an enormous selection of very popular audiobooks already created? that you can use completely free. That's right, no need to worry about copyright, licensing, patents, trademarks, none of that stuff. You see, in the United States, a book is automatically copyrighted for a certain amount of time. But many of the classic books of literature have been around for hundreds of years, and as such, they are no longer copyrighted in any way. LibriVox is a website where volunteers from around the world read these non-copyrighted books and turn them into an audiobook. And the best part of it is that these audiobooks are also part of the public domain, meaning that absolutely anyone can use these audio recordings of this audiobook for any purpose that they want, including for commercial purposes. LibriVox has literally thousands of audiobooks, like Alice in Wonderland, Frankenstein, Anne of Green Gables, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Moby Dick, Pride and Prejudice, The Art of War, and many, many more. Check out this YouTube video of the Alice in Wonderland audiobook with nearly 800,000 views. And let's listen to the first 10 seconds or so. Chapter 1 of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. That's right. This video was simply downloaded from LibriVox and then immediately re-uploaded to YouTube with some generic picture to add some visual spice. Every single one of these videos was directly downloaded from LibriVox. And because the book and the audio rendition of the book are all in the public domain, it's all 100% completely legal. This YouTube channel is averaging about 200,000 views per week. That means that this guy's making tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars per year with little or no effort at all. I mean, let's be realistic. You could dedicate a weekend or two to this and download and then re-upload 365 different audiobooks and have YouTube release a new video every single day. That way you have an entire year's worth of content created in just a matter of days. Now look, I'm not exactly suggesting that everyone just run out and start bombarding YouTube with recycled content like these audiobooks, but what I am saying is that there are plenty of good money-making opportunities all around us. We were just always too busy to ever notice. The more time you spend trying to think of new and creative ways to make some extra cash, the more you start to realize that there are plenty of good options already available. Now, I will caution you that if you plan on doing this or starting a YouTube channel in general, you must devote yourself to keeping it up for at least one year of regular uploads. The reason being is that YouTube isn't going to just promote your video as a new channel. The very first financial literacy video I ever created, that video only appeared as a thumbnail that was clickable by a grand total of 26 people within the first month of the video being released. And of those 26 people, only four actually clicked on it and watched the video in the first month. That's right, I spent days figuring out how to actually make a video, and for all that hard work and effort, only four people watched it within the first month. Starting a new YouTube channel is painfully slow and frustrating, but as you keep uploading new videos on a consistent basis week after week, 
YouTube will start promoting your videos more and more. And the more YouTube promotes your videos, the more views and subscribers you will ultimately start to get. And so while growth is painfully slow in the start, if you just stick with it, things will eventually pick up and you too can be earning thousands of dollars for only three minutes worth of work downloading and re-uploading content that is already created for the public domain. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing, and as always, I'll see you all again next time. Thanks.